Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm gonna to be doing another re another review. This time around, I'm gonna be doing a season review, um, or an entire season review for Breaking Bad season one. Um, so yeah, the first season of Breaking Bad um, has ten episodes, and they include an, an order from first to from the first episode to the tenth episode. It includes Uno, Mijo, Nacho, Hero, Alpha, Alpine Shepherd Boy, Five O, Bingo. Rico, Pimento, and Marco. So yeah, um, very quick fact though that I actually didn't notice this at first. My friend told me this that all of the episodes, um, all, every single episode title here, um, is one word and ends with an O, except for episode five, I'll find Shepherd Boy, which is three words and ends with a Y, cause boy. Um, you could say the same thing for episode six, which is called Five O. You could say that's technically two words. But not really. So yeah, I didn't actually I actually didn't notice this at first. Um, but when you actually look down through the episodes, yeah, it's true. Aside from episode five, every episode, every single episode ends with an O, and it's just one word. Again, Uno, Mijo, Nacho, Hero. Then you have Alpha and Chapa Boy. Then Five O, Bingo, Rico, Pimento, and Marco. Um, and yeah, and this show stars Bob Odenkirk, um, Jonathan Banks, Reese Seahorn, Patrick Fabian. Uh, Michael Mondo and Michael McKean, um, Jeremy Sh Shamos, Kerry Condon, Steve Levine, Miriam Colon, Al Al Aline Fogarty, Fogarty Mel and Mel Rodriguez, Raymond Cruz, Cesar Garcia, and Jesus Peña Jr., and T.C. Warner. Um, so yeah, this is the cast. So yeah, sorry for going on. I'm um, just on kind of... Point that out very fast for those that, who didn't notice that at first. Um, so yeah, aside from that, um, 10 seconds spoiler warning as usual for those who, haven't, who have yet to actually watch the entire season. Um, for those who have yet to actually watch the entire season and haven't already, for those who you know, haven't basically watched the season and haven't already, basically, you stop the video, go to the and come back and watch the rest of this review. 10 seconds spoiler warning as usual starting now. Okay, so 10 seconds are up, so for those who have yet to actually watch the, the season and haven't already, please don't comment down below or be a message you that never gave you a fair warning, because as usual, I did. So yeah, as usual, quick synopsis, likes and dislikes, and then the rates. So basically, the overarching story story of season one of Better Call Saul, the overarching story, is that you have... Is that you have better? Um, you have Saul or Jimmy, and he's basically starting trying to start up his law firm. He's trying to become a lawyer, um, and he at the same time he's a small time scam artist. So he's basically trying to get become popular, become a well known known lawyer to you know pay pay the bills and whatnot. Um, you know pay the bills and pay for his brother's conditions. Um, Chuck, who in his condition basically in the beginning of the season. Is that he can't be around electronics such as computers or phones, um, yeah, phones, um, or anything electronical, uh, causing a basically a disease or allergy. Um, throughout the season, you basically see him develop as a lawyer. Um, seeing how his scam artistry, um, also works with his law, with his lawyer artist artistry, I guess you could say. Um, Chuck is revealed to just have schizophrenia, I guess in a sense. And uh, he finally gets over his fear of electricity and whatnot. And halfway through the season, um, he he, but um, Saul he becomes this lawyer for the for the older people for older law or elder laws, you know, for the wills and their, you know, you know, such as wills, wills, for example. Um, so yeah. So in the second half of the season, you have you have this um retirement home that basically. Um, is scamming the residents of the retirement home, basically, if you know what I mean. Um, they're extorting money from the retirement home, and whatever, whatever. And now Jimmy, he, Jimmy and Chuck both both team up to see if they can now take down this whole retirement home business, this whole scam, and see what happens after that. We have some kind of backdrop relationships with, between um, between Saul and Kim. Um, you see the relationships starting off between Mike and Jimmy, Jimmy and Chuck. And stuff that will eventually lead on to the Breaking Bad show. So yeah, overall, I was at first when this show first started off, I was really skeptical in my opinion. I really didn't think I thought Breaking Bad was good, but I didn't think it was that good to actually have a spin-off out of it. I mean, I guess logically, Saul would be the first one to be 
have the spinoff, but I really didn't see a reason for it. Um, and my skepticism more or less stayed up until episode 5, which is the halfway point. I'm not saying that's bad or good, but yeah. So, this, epi this the season, the season as a whole, the show as a whole, is slow. And to some degree, that is good because it helps with the character build-up. But other times, it's not really that good because... You know, you guys, it, it just gets boring after a while, just seeing the same stuff all over again. Now, one of the things that really bothered me within the first couple episodes is that it wasn't really realistic. Um, now, I know this show isn't really meant to be, all, I mean, this show does have its times where it's not really all that realistic. But you have this guy who's a lawyer, he's a small-time lawyer, and within the first four episodes, he's caught within these ridiculous ideas. He has is caught within these ridiculous situations where it's literally life and death. Where he where he's in car chases, where he's shooting, where either he, he's in shootouts, he's in drug deals. It just doesn't make sense. And although they were fun to watch, I just it was fun to watch, but I just couldn't logically picture it in there. That really took me out within the first. Um, within the first four episodes. Now, within the fifth episode, it kind of just got back to normal to what I what I expected, and that's more that's when my skepticism grew, um, started to go away. Um, overall, it was a, gr a good season. It did have its dash. It did have its. It did have comedy and drama mixed in really well done, just as the Breaking Bad TV show had. had. Um, Bob Odenkirk, he is a um good lead in my opinion. Um, I didn't think he was a such a good lead at the beginning, but I do think he is a pretty decent, strong lead. Um, at the end of the season, really well written and really well acted to say the least as well. Um, overall, it is a great episode. Um, great season. Um, uh, to say the least. Um, overall, I did enjoy it. And, yeah, I am excited for Season 2, which has been confirmed. Um, so, yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10 for Season 1 of Better Call Saul, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, and 6 being decent, I'd give it a 7.5 out of 10. I do think there could have been improvements. Um, there could have been improvements, but for the most part, it was a good first season. Um, that's basically it for this review. Subscribe if you're, not, if you're not already subscribed. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. Comment down below on your thoughts on the... Season, what were your thoughts on it? Have you seen it? And if not, why not? And if you have, what are your thoughts on it? And aside from that, like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. Subscribe. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. Comment down below on your thoughts on the season. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off.